Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finale of the Mystical Skyblock series. Well, I mean, it's not the actual finale because we still got to beat the Ender Dragon, but it's close enough, okay? This is episode 11 and we're happy to have you back and watching. Today we are being joined by Hattie Cat. Hi. Bradley. Guys. And Soup Dog. Welcome. And of course me, because, you know, I'm the most important one here out of all of us. Well, what does the grand finale actually entail? Today, we are going to be building houses, each of us doing our own in our own separate videos that are going to be next to each other. This plot is going to be Soup Dogs. He's also going to have part of the mystical shack, and I'm not sure what he's planning to do with that, but hopefully he keeps it as a memento to our younger days of building, when we thought that a porcupine would make a good house. This plot belongs to Brad, in which he's going to build something mystical to fit with the theme of the dragon and the castle over there. This one is going to belong to Hattie Cat, and because he wanted to go in the corner for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't like you guys. Yeah, <laughs> fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Yeah. And this plot is going to be mine, in which I am going to be building way up in the sky, and, you know, you probably won't be able to see me if you're just looking on this plane. So, how will the videos actually work up? Well, it's actually pretty simple. This week will be the special Skyblock week, as we have dubbed it, and uh, that means every day of the week there will be a new episode coming out for you guys. Now, uh, this whole building shenanigans will be split up in multiple episodes, each in our perspective, edited by, well, us in our own little styles to vary it up a bit. So Monday will be Mystic's episode, Tuesday will be mine, then Wednesday, as a little intermezzo of sorts, we'll have a nice uh, special episode for you guys. Then Thursday will be Bradley, and finally Friday will be Hattie's. So uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. It's gonna be very exhausting for us, but you know, it's the YouTube grind. So what we're actually gonna do now is go off in our separate ways and start on our projects. As Soup said, we are each gonna be editing our individual projects by ourselves, guys. So we're not gonna to talk to each other much throughout this project. It's now and then it's at the end. So I guess I'll see all you guys when we're finished. Bye bye. Let's go. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> all right guys, so as we just said, we're gonna be splitting off into the different perspectives. You're currently watching episode one of this week of videos, one after another. And this episode is going to be from my point of view, obviously, Mystic. And yeah, you're going to be watching me building my house. Because that is what we are doing today. We are building houses. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know how much you can call mine a house. Because it's not going to look like a house on the outside. Okay, basically, what I have planned is a giant owl fighting a bunch of tentacles coming up from portals in the abyss. Now, hear me out, that sounds like the plot to something inappropriate, but I think if I pull it off well, it could look pretty cool indeed. There are a few issues, such as the fact that this, as much as it looks pretty big, it's gonna be a little bit small for what I had originally planned. So I had to change my idea slightly, but it still keeps the owl and the tentacles and the, like the big mid-air battle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the middle point of this to give me as much wing room as possible for when I do those. And I'm going to build up into the sky and start work on the head. Hey, the back of the head is done, but that does not look like a head at the moment. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make the eyes. So they are facing Patty Cat's build and judging him intensely for whatever he is about to create and bring upon this cursed land. <laughs> oh god, it looks horrific already. Ha. Huh. You know when I pushed this a few blocks back to give myself a bit more room? Yeah, I don't think that was a good idea. Look how little room I've got for the back. Oh no. Alright, let's just let's just build the exoskeleton endoskeleton. Let's just build the rough shape. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Yeah, and see if it looks natural being pushed up right against the world limit. 
All right, the banana is somewhat completed. It looks a bit weird at the moment, but I'm sure once it's all filled in and the legs are more complete, it will look a lot nicer than it does at the moment. We managed to fit in barely within the lines here. I think we were right on the edge, like one block. Right, I reckon if I start building from around here, I'll get the sort of shape that I'm looking for. It might slightly go into the, the middle part, but I don't think it will too much, so it shouldn't matter. But if the boys want me to change it, obviously I will. Ooh, we're almost reaching the Warping Wharf. This is quite the big build. <laughs> it's weird, this owl completely dwarfs an entire planet. <laughs> Right, so now I've got the wings all finished up, I'm going to move them back a little bit and bend them so they don't look completely flat, you know, because they're mainly going to be going straight up, but, you know, actual wings wouldn't be completely straight like that. Okay, it's not really a noticeable difference, but there is definitely a difference there. If you come to the side, you can see it moves in by a block every few lines up. I think it adds an interesting effect from the front, and when it's all filled in with the feathers, it'll look quite interesting. But for now, I'm going to move away from the wings, and I am going to move back to the body, where I'm going to try and fill it in all the way down to the legs. That looks like a leg! That does look like a thigh, indeed. I mean, the whole thing looks a bit banana-y at the moment, but it's going to look all good. I am quite confident that this is going to turn out well. And you can hold me by those words, so when it looks bad, you can laugh and make fun of me. And with this block, I believe the whole of the front of this monstrosity of an owl is completed. Wow, that's, that's just really nice to look at from a distance. Like. God, he really do be towering. So, I reckon for this next part, I'll just update you when I've finished it all, because it will get quite monotonous and boring, I suppose, because it's quite simple, not too interesting. So yeah, we'll just see how, how it looks afterwards. Oh my god, I have spent about half an hour <laughs> staring at my butt. Just trying to make it look half decent and oh, I think I'm going insane. This project is actually turning me insane. I hope the rest is a little bit easier, but I've got to go all the way up the back. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, perfection. Absolute perfection on them thighs. Beautiful. The glutes, the- oh. I guess the weather disagrees, but I don't care. Those are some good thighs. <laughs> I'm so At the moment, I think the shape is how I would like it. It looks pretty banana-like, but that's sort of what I was going for. With the back hunching over so he can see the tentacles that he's going to be attacking down below. Now, I need to focus on the wings, and I've got no clue what I'm going to be doing for them, honestly. I know I need to make wings, I don't know how thick I want the wings to be, I don't know what colour slash texture I'd like the feathers to be, I don't know how big I want the feathers to be as well. There's a lot of things that I need to figure out through experimenting, and yeah, I'll start working on them now. All right, I think it's looking pretty, pretty good at the moment. I quite like the idea of the little feathers sort of jutting out a bit further than the rest of the wing, because it adds a bit of texture to it. Though at the moment, it does look a bit more like a hybrid between like a bat and an owl and a human. All in all, it's quite, quite the monstrosity. But I sort of like it. I sort of like how creepy and threatening it is. It's got an interesting vibe to it, and I think that will be accentuated once I add the tentacles and the whole mid-air battle. But for now, I'm going to finish working on the wing design, and I'm going to try and push the top part of the wing further back, so it feels less uniformed, because like at the moment it's got those straight lines. I want it to feel more natural and flowing. So yeah, let's try and get that effect done now. Okay, I reckon working in little patches of area like this is the way that is going to work the best. Because doing this, you'd have to think about the shape for the overall thing. You can just work on 
making sure that the shape for little little parts is all right, huh? and then you can work on those. Yeah, I think this will work. <laughs> you know, it, it is sort of funny how this owl completely dwarfs an entire planet. Before it was big, but now that the wings are all done, it's just, it's huge. It's bigger than the tower, it's bigger than everything here. It's absolutely ginormous. And I think it looks really cool at the moment. It really doesn't look like an owl. But I think the sort of monster-like wings, almost almost like the dragon a little bit, quite similar. They really add to the drama of the situation and the intensity. So once we complete it and we have the legs and the tentacles and the whole mid-air battle, I reckon it'll look pretty good. Now it's time to work on the legs. These should be a lot faster and easier than the wings because they're not as complicated a shape. So hopefully this should be done pretty fast. Well, it'll be exactly the same time for you guys because, you know, editing is magic. But for me, this should be a lot faster. So yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. So now we need to collect some materials for the tentacles. Uh, and to get the colors that we need, we're gonna have to go flower picking of all things. Yeah. So yeah, let's just go to the park and start picking some flowers. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Could you load please? Thank you. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, you sneaky. How could we've never found that? That's like, what? All right, so we're in the park now. So let's just clear out all of the flowers that are here. I reckon you can put a flower in the plant pot. Oh, what was that? Wait, I'll put, I'll put a different one in. What is this? Oh, hello there, soup. Let's see what he's gonna say. Ooh. Oh, how pleasant. <laughs> Coolio. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna go with yellow. I reckon yellow will look good. Ooh, we already have quite a lot of yellow hardened clay. That'll be very useful. I reckon green, blue, and blue would look interesting for the portal. Right, I want it to be sort of spiraling up in a way, so it doesn't just go directly up. So it's got a little bit of shape to it. Personality. second thoughts after going away and then returning to look at the yellow tentacle I decided that it didn't really give off the effect that I was looking for I mean yellow is quite a happy color and what I was going for was more intimidating ferocious all of those sort of things and I couldn't really get that with the yellow so what I did was I just used my haste to and just got rid of it all in a minute <laughs> So now we have an abundance of yellow hardened clay that I don't know what to do with because I'm not gonna use it anywhere else in the build. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this here, little chest. I'm gonna fill it with the yellow hardened clay. I'm gonna crouch, put a sign on top and then say, please. Oh. We have one visitor. Is he going to take some? Is he going to take some of the yellow hardened clay that I put all of my money and time into? What's he doing? God, I really do not know what colour tentacles to do. I know what I can do. Soup. What colour tentacle do you think is best? Uh, ah, my favorite color. Oh, I said purple. Right, so we need purple, which means I need to collect red flowers and we've already got a ton of lapis. So, through the red for this, for like, oh, yo, yo, I don't want a dandelion. What do you think I am, a peasant? That's cool, that's all of them. Yep. 
We can also... Oh no, wait, we need more red. So we can get red glass. Back to the puffies! <laughs> zap the floor, zap the floor. Just do it once more. Pew! Hey, exactly what I wanted. All right, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the yellow, where we just sort of wind it up all the way up to the leg, and then we curl around the ankle. Okay, so that's that one all done. I do quite like the color. I think it looks a lot better than the yellow before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a few more in there, maybe add the giant mouth at the bottom of the world. And yeah, we should almost be done. All right, so that is the tentacles, well, the main two tentacles, all done and dusted. I really like how they wrap around at different points of the legs, it sort of gives it a more natural feeling. I also made this one higher up so it can reach higher up. I made this one further back so it's got a bit of depth to it. Just all in all, I just try to move it around a bit. And I think the outcome is really effective. Then down at the bottom of the world, like literally the bottom of the world, if I went a single block lower, I would die. <laughs> I have created this mouth with a tongue sticking out, coming through a giant portal. Now this is the thing controlling the tentacles, and it is trying to pull the giant owl into its huge mouth. I mean, by the looks of things, it's not gonna fit, but it's trying, okay? The, the particle effects that I've done look really good when it's the abyss like this, but as soon as you move up, the effect of it is just completely lost when it turns blue, and it's really disappointing, honestly. But I still think it works pretty well. Okie dokie, so for this third tentacle, I'm thinking it'd be quite cool if it could come from the side almost. So they come from different angles and different heights. So the way I like to build mine is I get a 3x3 three three square, and then I build the middle part out in the shape that I would like. Then I go around all of the sides, thickening it up so it looks like a plus sign. Then I go around the corners, putting them in places that I think works best to make it look thick, but also like the right shape, and then I go around the corner parts, so like, for example, if I go like this, the parts where it moves, I go around there and make sure it all looks smooth, so for example, here, I added these two blocks on this side and this one block on this side, because otherwise, it looks a bit, I don't know how to describe it, a bit awkward, but if you add those blocks at the sides, it just feels more smooth, so yeah, let's try and get this shape that we want. I think that one looks pretty good. Now we just need to do, I reckon, two more to fill in the gaps. I'm gonna put one sideways around here, sort of going around the waist, and then I'll try and have another one up above coming down towards the head. Okie dokie, that one is done too. I think with these four it looks pretty good. But the space above is a little bit empty, so I'm gonna fill that up with one more. Okie dokie, that should be the final tentacle all done. It's a lot smaller than the others, but it was just there to add a bit of 
just to add something to the area above the owl. So yeah, the exterior is pretty much done. But there is one issue. This is supposed to be a house, and I just, I do not have the time when making this video to fill in the interior. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little entrance so it somewhat feels like a house, and then another time I will actually build the interior. I'm not sure when exactly. I'll have to talk to the others about it, but we will be doing the interior eventually. Okie dokie. I'm not sure how well I've managed to make it look like what I'm going for, but I've tried to put like a vault door on top of the head that is now opened so people can come inside, but it's sort of like, like this is all made out of painted metal, you know? Like it's a giant robot owl. Doing this series with these guys has really helped me improve my creative abilities and my just ability to build in Minecraft. It's been a really fun series for me and hopefully the other guys, but more importantly, I hope it's been a fun series for you guys to watch, because without you here, we probably wouldn't have even made any of this. But for today, this is the end of the episode. Thank you for coming along. It's been a wild ride with lots of things going wrong, but in the end, we came out with a product that looks very, very nice in my opinion. As always, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. As we already said, tomorrow you will be able to watch Soup's Perspective where he builds his own housing area. But for now, this is the end of my video. So I'd just like to say one last thing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!